BTEC Applied Science Unit 2 uh, Colorimetry Experiment, my first video about this. This is kind of an introduction to it, explaining the basics to you. I'll go into a little bit more detail in the next video. So, you're going to be given some copper sulfate solution, uh, and your task, your job will be to find its concentration. So how would you go about getting the concentration of this copper sulfate solution? How could you do it? Well, the more concentrated the solution is, then the more light it will absorb. If you look at a concentrated solution, it's going to look a lot darker, and that's because it will absorb more light. If it was more dilute, it would be a lot lighter. What exactly do we mean by concentration? Well, uh, in Unit 1 Chemistry, hopefully by now, you'll know that concentration is measured in moles per decimeter cubed, and the concentration is the number of moles divided by the volume in decimeters cubed. A decimeter cubed is a litre, or a thousand centimetres cubed is a decimeter cubed. So, we're going to measure how much light it absorbs using something called a colorimeter, which is a special machine. And we're going to put the copper sulfate in a test tube, and that goes in the colorimeter, and we press some buttons, and the colorimeter will tell us how much light it absorbs. It will tell us the absorbance. Okay? You can get it to tell you how much light gets through, but we're going to use absorbance, how much light is absorbed. Now, the colorimeter contains a light bulb and it contains several different filters. Uh, and the reason is that some wavelengths of light may be absorbed more than others. And we should use a wavelength that is absorbed a lot because then we'll get more accurate results. We'll get a bigger difference between different concentrations. So we're going to use a wavelength which is absorbed a lot by copper sulfate. How could we find out which wavelength is absorbed the most? Have a little think about that. So we find the absorbance for the unknown concentration and then look at this graph. If you know the absorbance for the unknown concentration, then you can use this graph to find its concentration. Concentration, capital M, molar, like this one's going to be about 0.3 molar. That means moles per decimeter cubed. Where do we get this graph from? Okay, where do we get it from? Well, we make it ourselves. We produce this graph ourselves before we do the experiment. What we're going to do, once we've found out the wavelength that we're going to use, what we're going to do is we're going to make seven solutions with different known concentrations and we're going to measure the absorption, the absorbance for each solution and then we are going to plot that graph. So basically we do the graph ourselves, we use known concentrations, we measure the absorbance for the known concentrations and then we plot this graph. Okay, so to do this, we need to prepare a standard solution. We need to prepare, first of all, the first job on our list is to prepare a standard solution. Now, I would suggest 0.4 molar copper sulfate. And if you prepare about 100 mils of it, that should be enough. Okay, so prepare 100 mils of 0.4 molar copper sulfate and put that in a beaker, put some distilled water in a beaker, and then you're gonna use pipettes to measure out different amounts of copper sulfate, different amounts of water to make your solutions, your different concentration solutions. This table might come in handy. If you look, we have, well, the six test tubes there. Uh, the first one is all water, the second one is a bit of copper sulfate, mostly water, etc, etc. And so you can prepare your different concentrations of copper sulfate. Okay, from zero molar, 
which is distilled water, to 0.4 molar, which we haven't added any water to, any water to the standard solution. Then, uh, well, you will be given a bottle of 0.4 molar copper sulfate. No, you won't. You prepare it yourself. Yeah, you're going to prepare that standard solution for yourself and then use it to prepare these different concentrations to get our graph. Okay, so these are our different concentrations of copper sulfate and we can measure the, absorb the absorbance for each of them to produce the graph. Here's a summary of what we have to do. Firstly, prepare 100 mils of 0.4 molar copper sulfate. Find out what wavelength is absorbed the most. To do that, hopefully you've figured out, you plot a graph of absorption, absorb, absorbance against wavelength, and that will tell you which wavelength of light, which color is absorbed the most. Prepare a range of solutions with different concentrations. Measure the absorption, the absorbance, I keep getting that wrong, the absorbance for each of these and plot a graph of absorbance against concentration. Measure the absorbance of the unknown concentration and then use your graph to find its concentration. Bit more detail on the next video, but that should hopefully give you some understanding of what this is all about.